everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I'm filming this on my phone because it just took me so many tries to try and film a good quality booktube video that I've ran out of battery on all three of my batteries. Uh, in my defense, they hold charge so horribly, um, so it's not entirely my fault. But today we're here to talk about a hobby that I used to love and I'm currently re-falling in love with, and that is reading. And I'm filming this on my phone, so I'm really trying hard not to look at my face. So I apologize if I look off at my face instead of at the camera like I'm supposed to. Um, forgive me. I'm trying. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've sat here in this area where my camera is on a stack of books. Sarah J. Mass is the current stacker that you're on. And then I've been sitting here on the floor. It's just been a long time and it feels so majestic to be here talking about books, something that I used to do when I'm going into, into such a new period of my life. Because this year I turn 18, I have three classes and one English essay left until I graduate. And then I gotta try to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with my life. And I have an idea, but I don't know if I'm gonna talk about that idea today or in a different separate video. Um, but I just want to talk about reading again. I have started falling back in love with reading and I just want a place to talk about those books. I'm not going to be posting weekly or anything like that. I'm going to post whenever I read a good book. I kind of want to do like reading vlogs. I want to do themed reading vlogs and, gen and then just normal reading vlogs because I just want to be able to talk about books. Like recent read wrap ups I'm probably going to start coming back with because I'm reading books and I'm really enjoying them and I'm just going to talk about them. I want to talk about them and I want to be back in this book community that has just blossomed into such a beautiful thing and it's just so happy and so go lucky and positive and I just want to be back here. I've missed it. I've missed the hobby. I've missed you guys. I've missed making my videos with my face in it and talking. I don't know if you know this, but I have a lot of energy and I'm a really talkative person to the camera. That's not really ever something I had to try and like get used to was talking to the camera. I talk to myself all the time and the camera's no different. So, um, yeah, let's try this. Let's get into this because I've, like I said, I've already ran three batteries dead trying to film this intro and film this video in general. I'm tired and I want to go read. So I'm also thirsty, but let's, let's, let's get into this. Alrighty. So Let's talk about how I got into reading, I guess, first off, and I got a job at a library. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I have a part-time, a little part-time gig at my local library, which I love, and it's amazing. Just in case you ever want, like, if you're, like, looking for a good job, go check out your local library. The people make a job, honestly, and... I love what I do at the job at the library, but I also love the people I work with and the people I meet while working there. So, support your local libraries, guys. They freaking rock. But um, I got that job at the end of February 2022, and I mean, literally, my first day was 20 the 28th of the month, so it was the last day. And I found out very quickly that every single month we were going to have to recommend two books. They're called Shelf Talkers, and oh my god, was I blown. I was blown away, because I was like, um, look, I know I told you that I'd read <laughs> at the interview, but it's been a while, and it hasn't really been on that long, but I can't recommend middle grades, and it had been a long time, a long time, since I've read a YA or adult book that I liked. Because I only read books with my granny, or I had only been reading books with my granny. And our book club, we were struggling for some good stuff. Good YA, good adult, good middle grade. We, we, we just couldn't find anything good. And my, my ratings on Goodreads for 2022 uh, are all three and two stars. I think I have read 48 books, 16 of which have been Attack on Titan manga. So, like, don't 
like we'll exclude those and only like four of them have been five stars so I've really had a hard time reading and finding good books but for some reason I'm just getting back into the hobby of reading I'm loving it and I just want a place to talk about these books even if they're bad I want to talk about them so here we are and my granny and I, if your case you're curious, we have are currently reading two really good series. We have started the Finley Donovan is Killing It series. We read book one, both here at five stars. We're on book two currently. I don't have my copies downstairs in the sunroom, so I got it from the library. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're currently reading that and we also are reading the Rangers Apprentice series and we loved the first book So we're excited to read the second book and uh, we're just waiting to get our hands on a copy of it. So anyway, uh So we are reading some good books, but I Haven't read a book on my own in a long time and getting the shelf at the library I knew I had to pick up my reading intake but it was just really difficult to actually sit down and get into reading and find the love of reading because it had like ducked beneath a couch and was covered in dust. It had been so long since I'd, 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 I'd experienced loving reading. And with school, which I am turning 18 this year and I have three classes and one English assignment left until I graduate. So I'm really getting near the end, um, which is horrifying, but also... I'm so done with school and I just really felt the lace slide and it so did writing and so did editing and YouTube is just hanging on there by a thread and I just I haven't really been enjoying anything it's kind of just been a school and then reading fan fiction and watching random YouTube videos that just make my mind complete goo and I've started reading again and I've just I'm really enjoying it and I want a place to talk about them so we're back to book two, baby. We're not doing weekly videos. We're gonna post whenever we want. I have so many ideas though, and it sucks because I know I'm gonna have to actually read and edit them to post these ideas. I wanna make a whole video series where I read books that are on my book bucket list. And I also wanna make a whole video series where I read an entire series of a manga. Um, Attack on Titan will not be included because I've watched up to season four of Attack on Titan and up to episode eight of Attack on Titan, the anime, and I don't like season four. I love the direction Aaron went. Don't think that's why I don't like it. I just don't like the animation or the way the story is tell, told anymore. Um, and I've also, I'm currently reading Spy X Family very slowly. So those will not be included in that series, but I do want to make a series like that because I want to read more manga and I think it'd be fun to do. So I also would just like to make more book videos where I actually sit down and I have a chance to talk about the books, like recent reads. Those still exist, don't they? I don't know. Um, it's been a long time and I'm just excited to talk about these books. So I know I've kind of said that several times, but I really am having trouble remembering what I've already talked about because I've filmed this so many times and if you're new to my channel, that, that used to happen all the time. So I think what we're going to talk about now is the books I'm currently reading. We'll talk about the books that I own that I'm currently reading, starting off with one I've been reading since October 20th, 2020. I should probably just DNF this book because I hate it. <laughs> I It's so sad. It's still really sad to me that I'm still currently reading this. Um, but like the only reason I want to finish this book, I have this much left is because I I don't like it and I, I'm annotating the uh, my hatred for it I, I, I'm annotating how much I hate it so I would really like to finish it just so I could do that but I know if I'm whoops it almost kicked a book but I know that it since I'm trying to get back into loving reading again that's probably not the grandest idea so stick around I don't know this is what I've been reading for a long time and I'm still only on page 40 so it's probably not happening then we have the coward by Stephen Orion and I read 50 pages of this 50 pages of this and I loved it one of my favorite things about this book is the dedication I love the dedication in this book um, and I do plan on finishing this but because I don't this is a, a copy I own it's not a library book. It's very difficult for me to actually pick it up because I'm like, so many books in the library I wanna read. Why would I read the ones I own? 
So once I finish these, I think I'll be good. So yeah, this is one of them. Love the cover as well. Um, the house in the cerulean sea. Yeah, I finally started this. Okay, there's hair literally everywhere. Uh, I finally started this on vacation in May. I got to page 190, pretty far. Couldn't put it down. Loved it. And then I got home and I couldn't pick it back up. <laughs> so I'm so close to finishing this. I'm like halfway. This is one that I think I'm going to really enjoy because I, I love Theodore, by the way. He's my favorite kid. Um, but I just don't want to read it now that I'm home. I don't have anything to, I don't, I don't want to, but I was enjoying it. So yeah. You Fruit Sam is actually probably going to be pushed up on my list because my library now has a copy and in a couple of months I will be able to make it a shelf talker. So uh, I got this because somebody on Instagram said it made them sob and I was like, heck yeah. So I'm on page 16 of this one and the cover is very pretty and I hope the ending makes me sob like a little baby. That's the whole reason I have a copy of it is because it's going to make me cry and I like to read books that make me cry and this was like about grief and just regret and stuff like that and I really want to read it so there's that. And then this was a complete impulse purchase because I had no interest in reading this book until I saw the Barnes and Noble edition that was $30 and I said mom please please darling dear get me a copy of it and she did. Hello, I'm one of these people. Um, I, this When this came out, it was so popular and it had so many people reading it and I was never one of those people that wanted to. But then we went to Barnes and Noble and I saw, the, I liked the white thing better by the way, but then I saw the stunning, gorgeous copy that was also signed and I was like, what better way to introduce myself to Jake Kristoff, he's so popular. And um, I'm currently 70 pages into this. So I think this will be a book that I'll enjoy more once I get into it. But it's the act of getting into it that I'm not excited for. Because um, this is a big book. It's 800 pages practically. And I know I said I love big books. But not if they're boring at the start. It's boring at the start. So those are the books I currently own and uh, are currently reading, have been for a long time. And they're also like on the back of my list because like, I own copies of them. I don't have um, a little reading period and uh, they're not really calling out to me. I do of course want to finish all of them, maybe not the DC book one, probably not that one, but they're not my top priority what is my top priority and that I'm currently loving and is probably the book responsible for my return to booktube besides all of the ideas that I had that I really want to put into action is this little translated fantasy book right here. This is Vida Nostra by Marina and Sergi Diacinico. I know. I, d I know. I ruined the last name. But it's translated by Julia Matov Hersey. And I love this book. I have been reading this book for 21 days, almost, practically. And um, I'm halfway into it. So I'm reading this book very slowly, but I'm also not upset by that because this book has five-star potential. And I talked about it on Instagram, like, so quickly. It did not do it justice. And now Sophie said she's going to try and get a copy from her library. And I was like, yes, girl, do it. And like, I want to talk about it with you. But yeah, I'm halfway into this book and it's just, it's so unique and I, I love it. I really am loving it. It has five star potential right now. And the scary thing is, is the fact that it has five star potential and I have no idea what direction this is going to go. So like this could go from a five to a two real quickly. Um, so that's really terrifying. But I just... I'm excited to read this and finish it and give it a rating and then move on to Marina and Sergi's other books because they have two other books that have been translated um, into English and I want to read both of them. 
after 196 pages of them, I want more. And I do have more, but I want their other stories too. So, I'm only halfway through this and I'm already like, this is going to be a new favorite author duo of mine. They're going to be my new favorite authors. Um, and I hope that's true. I hope I haven't like jinxed myself with this book by saying like, I love it. It's probably a five star. It's a five star prediction halfway through it. Hope I haven't ruined the chances of that actually happening. Knock on wood. Um, I just love it. I love it. And when I do a recent reads video, I'll talk more about it. But I also desperately want my own copy of this because I love it that much. This is, uh, it hurts me that my own library doesn't have a copy of this. My library doesn't have a copy of this, guys. I know. It's an interlibrary loan. <sighs> they gotta get their own copy. Like, I gotta be able to recommend it to people. And then the only other current, oh, actually. Another book that I have that's not from my library is Jack Frost uh, by William Joyce. I want, I want more Jack Frost books, and I can't find any, especially none that are uh, clean. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I want more Jack Frost, and so I got this one. I read the first book, and I'm excited to read this one. It's a, it's a children's book. Don't get blown away. Uh, but yeah. I just want to read this because it's Jack Frost related and I love DreamWorks. They're like my favorite animation studio now. Back off, Disney. Go away. DreamWorks has stepped up and claimed your crown. Uh, your princess crown. And uh, they animated Rise of the Guardians, which is inspired by this series, I believe. Anyway, and um, I want to read more about Jack Frost. I want more Jack Frost. So please, if you have any recommendations, recommend them down below. I don't care what age range, middle grade, adult, N.A., adult whatever you want like I don't really care just more Jack Frost books right and then this is another one I actually got this one from my library I, I saw the cover of it and I was like this is stunning what's it about and then I read it and I put myself on hold for it when on vacation and it's I've had it in my possession for three weeks now the same amount of time that Vita Nostra has been in my possession and I haven't touched it at all this is the checkout receipt okay it's not a bookmark I haven't read this at all but I do really want to, so I'm going to renew it when I get back into work tomorrow um, and hope that nobody else is on hold for it. But if somebody is, like, I'll check it in and then they'll get the book and then I'll put myself back on hold for it. And then when it comes back in three weeks, hopefully by then I'll have finished Vita Nostra and I'll have time to actually read this book. Um... And if I check it out again and I don't have time, what if it's just like a constant game of hot potato? So, um, yeah, I don't know what it's about, but the scent, the cover is just stunning. I love the cover. It's a big book, which big books are my weakness, if you exclude Jay Kristoff. So, anyway, didn't James, Roll I think James Rollins wrote other stuff. I don't know what, but it's a terrific bit of storytelling, says Terry Brooks, who's a really popular sci-fi author so anyway that'll be the end of this video I want to make some more book videos I really wanted to talk about like my fact that I have the fact that I haven't been writing but I think that'll be its own separate video because Sophie and I really got to sit down and have a conversation about where the heck we are with our book that I can't even remember the name of or the abbreviation for oh dear Sophie you and I are in trouble but don't I just want to say Sophie I don't think I don't want you to think I've forgotten that you still haven't read the last chapter I wrote and based on what's up here it was a very good chapter so don't think I forgot about that Sophie I haven't uh so yeah thanks for coming along to this video it was chaotic these are the books I'm currently reading and want to read eventually and um I think I'm gonna start doing like library hauls uh, I don't know how often but we're gonna library the library <laughs> uh so yeah Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, despite the fact that it was so chaotic. My mom got home halfway through it. I feel like I'm just kind of like, some of you guys have anything you would like to see down below in the comments section. I do want to make some several, like some several video long series where I read mangas and um, books on my book bucket list. So if you have anything that you think I should read on my book bucket list or 
recommend me a manga series that you would definitely love to see me read and react to on camera but spoilers then tell me in the comment section and just honestly let's embrace doing stuff we love and be happy because we need more of that in our life especially right now so thank you so much for joining me i love you all so very much and i'll see you guys all next time for another video and hey don't forget i'm still a freaking bulldozer i'm so happy that i'll now get to say that more often Adiós.